the energy in the room, the music, the excitement. People are all here that have invested in themselves. It'll, it'll change your life and not just for your business, but as a person as well. didn't come, it needs to come next year because this is life change. Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we're gonna be diving into something that we usually dive into, which is my cult conference series, but specifically we're gonna be talking about Monet. So recently Monet actually held a conference in Las Vegas, as usual, Monet Reunion, as I like to call it. Anyways, there's lots of things that are going on and I feel like these trips are such a major explanation and proof of why I believe these companies are such scams. So with today's video, we're gonna be diving into several different things in regards to this entire cult conference that I like to call it. We're going to be covering multiple aspects and I really recommend anyone who is interested in Monet, who is a part of it, or who literally is just curious or anything. Like this is a very big video I think I'd recommend for anyone to watch in regards to this company because to me it's a huge depiction of the actual real raw issues with Monet. Now before we dive in, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below. And now without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's go. As we're going through this entire video, I really want you guys to kind of keep in mind and keep thinking about in what way does all this end up benefiting Monet? That's one of the biggest questions I think we get all asked. And with everything that I'll be discussing today, to me, it'll be a very, very clear answer. So first of all, let's actually dive into several topics and aspects of this. So first of all, this is the Las Vegas Monet reunion for April 22nd. It was from the 11th to the 14th, that MoFam feeling. So qualifications for this company was from August 1st to January 31st. So they had several months where you can actually possibly achieve this trip. They had multiple things in regards to earning this trip that were like jump starts or bonuses. So double your first month with 1,200 PV or a new market partners in August automatically qualify for the first month. See below for details. So they were trying to provide additional incentives for joining the company or recruiting more individuals in my opinion. Now continuing on it says, are you ready to get together for the biggest bash of spring? We're headed to the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Lavish Las Vegas for Monet Reunion 2022. Your Monet family is expecting you. Spend four fabulous days networking, learning, and witnessing our newest launches and announcements just steps from the Las Vegas Strip. If you've been to Reunion before, you know, and if you haven't, you'll soon discover, nothing compares to the thrill of getting together with your Monet fam, bursting with joy, beaming with pride, seeping in gratitude, and it's how we do what we do. It's that Mo fam feeling. So again, right here, we're already kicking it off, in my opinion, really pushing and trying to encourage people to come and express how important it is, how you can network, you can learn, you get to see all the new product launches firsthand. There is major incentives that are being marketed off to every single par partner in order to come to this. I'm gonna cash is in heavily from this. We're going to be getting into that. So first of all, before we actually dive into the requirements, agenda, everything for this entire trip, let's look at the Monet Income Disclosure Statement because this information is going to come in handy for this argument. It says the average annual income for all market partners at all ranks was $876 a year. Okay, a year. And again, I've talked to you guys about this before. Averages can be very, very misleading because we can have one person making 50,000 a year and another person making nothing. And when you add everything up and divide it by the total amount of market partners, you're gonna have a little bit of a skewed average and it's going to appear higher than what it probably, like what you actually should be expecting. For example, though, I did wanna mention because I personally believe that the median is the most accurate number. Right here, market partners, which are 92.26% of participants in the company. 92, literally almost all the people in the company. It shows the median annual gross earnings was nothing. Median, nothing. That's insane. And then continuing on, the average annual earnings was 161. Again, in my opinion, that is significantly high and way more than you should be expecting to get. Story, we have 92.26% of people making not shit in an entire year. And I would also like to add that I believe it is a requirement in order for, to get your 1099 for tax purposes. I believe you have to make around $600 or more in order to get that. Now, again, there's a lot coming. There's a lot of explanation. This might not make sense at first, but like I got a good argument for this. Let's look at the qualification criteria for this trip. So the first part says, meet the personal volume or PV requirements in five out of the six months during the qualifications period to earn one out of three tiers. Career rank. So what this first part is showing essentially 
essentially is it looks like if you are MP, MMP, AMB, and MB as of August 1st, then to the left of this tier is where your requirements are going to lie. If you are MMB and higher, then your requirements are going to be to the right side of this. So first of all, if you are on the other lower left, which are the lower ranks, you have 1,200 personal volume in order to hit that cut. Then for the tier two, 2,400, the tier three is 3,600. So right at the very bottom, I do want to highlight that on this left tier, it says minimum $600 in personal volume, 50% must be from customer purchases each month. You can infer if you go guys wanted to do the basic, basic, basic tier, which most people I believe probably qualify for, which is the triple room, then that means that you literally would have $600 you could potentially spend in regards to buying products. Again, that's just alleged. And then $600 worth of customer sales. Either way though, it's to me giving the illusion that you could easily buy this shit and make it happen or at least $600 minimum. So my inference is you could possibly find a way to get around that. This is just my guesstimate outright buy the trip essentially from Monet, even though it'd be 10 times more expensive, but you want to like be notified that you're qualified for it. Anyways, so right at the very bottom again, this trip includes round trip, coach class airfare, three night resort accommodations, and admissions to training day and reception. So this, th this is the first inch of my argument about how this is not a free trip whatsoever, and here's why. So right here, 1,200 PV. Okay, great. We have people that make nothing in commissions median every single year. So riddle me this, how is it that there are a small amount of people that do go, how did they do it? Because most people are not even making anything a year and that's 92% of people in the company. So how is it that they're able to make 1,200 PV bare minimum every single month to get there? I'm getting the illusion that they're not making anything and it's a lot of product buying, especially if we have things like flash sales and all these things going on where we have seen participants purchase tons and tons of inventory because it helps with their sales, it helps with their ranks. And so I personally believe that some of this was bought off by most people. And again, I would like to also infer that this is in no way a free trip. We're gonna get into that in just a minute. Let's look at what the entire itinerary. So the agenda, day one, you arrive and check in at your hotel. Then you had the MDC recognition night, which pretty much was an invite only. So again, people that were of higher ranks were the ones that got to go to that. Next day is general sessions. And then we have an evening reception from 6.30 to 9, 8 p.m. So they do have a decent amount of time, I think, in between in order to like hang out and chill at the pool. But then the next day, even we have director's brunch and then a full day of leisure. And then right after we have a hotel checkout and departments for and departures for day four. So to me, it's, I'm like, babes, that's not even like a full day of like three days. That's not four. But again, like so right here, this is what you get for the entire trip. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you here. Again, this is not remotely free. Now here's my second argument of why I think that this is not a free trip whatsoever. Going back to the argument where I said that if you make at least $600 or more in a year, that's when you get your 1099. So my thought process is this. If you don't make any real good commissions, then most people in Monet aren't actually getting, you know, a 1099 back. However, imagine making no money, but then because you are required legally to pay taxes on this trip of whatever Monet spent, on you because it's considered income. We're gonna put an estimate on how much the hotel is gonna cost. We're gonna put an estimate on flights. So it looks like they could run from around 300 to 200 something a night for MGM grand. So $823, let's say for the hotel. Now for flight, I'm literally pulling averages because I don't exactly know specifically, but let's say 300. So let's say they spend about $1,123. Now again, I know this is not completely spot on, but I'm trying to use this as a very rough, but really good estimate of what you could possibly be paying in taxes. This is why this is not a free trip. Right here I'm looking up and it says that most people spend maybe around 15% in regards to taxes if they are a 1099 worker. Times that by 15%, you'd have to pay maybe $168 in taxes at the end of the year because of this free trip. Pardon? Yeah, exactly. So this is why this trip is complete bullshit and it's not free. I'm being super serious here, you guys. The proof is there. Even if I don't have the identical numbers of exactly how much Monet paid, this is still a very good idea to show you that you are gonna have to pay though if you go to this trip. Another thing I would like to talk about as well that I think is highly problematic with this system is looking at the requirements in money to go. How much you need to quote unquote sell every single month to go. Now looking at the 1,200 PV, okay? Let's say that you are a small business owner. If you are able to sell $1,200 in fucking handmade goods, 
Hell yeah. But think about this though. Imagine doing 1,200 in sales. Let's take away, again, I'm doing some very rough math here. Let's say you do the bare minimum of selling $1,200 all by yourself from your own small business. Take maybe around 20% of that, which is $240. Then you are left with maybe $960. Okay. If you did that every single month for five months, times that by five, you would have $4,800 that you would have made. Yes, take away taxes, but think about it. You could literally get your own Las Vegas trip. You wouldn't have to be with a bunch of people in a cult, in my opinion. It would be such a better opportunity. I'm telling you all this because so many people harp on the free trips concept to really get people in. And since this is such a huge peak time for people to join this company, that's why I wanna talk about this. This is like a sparkly diamond, but if you you wipe the diamond off, it's a pile of shit. You see what I mean? So now that we kind of got out of that, let's talk about some things that actually happened on the trip. Because every time they do a trip, there's always some weird, culty things going on. Very weird. So first of all, let's talk about the additional money that some people are probably going to spend while they're there. Because this is culty in my opinion, but also it falls into the conversation I was having previously. So every single time that there is a Monet conference trip, whatever the case may be, Monet decides to launch products during that time. And the reason why that is so significant and important is because everyone is there. Everyone is there hyping the products up and they're more willing to buy it since they are able to grab it right then and be the first to purchase. So Monet decided to actually come out with some new energy sticks, some energy drinks. Again, hair care that possibly allegedly makes you bald. I tried it before, it made me lose hair. Um, why would I want to drink that shit? Why would I want to drink a fizzy stick? Maybe might make me shit my intestinal lining out, like riddle me that. But for real though, they were selling new energy sticks. Okay, great. But everyone is like freaking out. They're so excited. And then all of a sudden, Monet releases a flash sale on the rele recently released products. In what world does that make sense? For a brand new product that has not even been on online anything, it's immediately flash sale. Why do they do that? But it's a marketing tactic to make people buy it then because they're thinking, oh, I can get it for the first time. I can be one of the first people to purchase it. And then it's 10 times cheaper than what it would normally go. This is how Monet makes money, in my opinion. From doing all of that, most of the sales, in my opinion, is going to be coming from the people that are at those conferences. And then it actually adds to the workload that a lot of people that are on this trip are doing because they're going to immediately get on their phones. They are going to focus on reaching out to their VIPs, anyone else posting and being on social media, working to promote the new products that Monet launched. Um, but I wanted to come on here and share about our flash sale going on right now. So if you are someone who is in need of major energy focus, maybe you're someone that takes a bit to focus or you maybe don't want to be drinking coffee because of the jitters and stuff but you need something to give you that little boost throughout the day our energy packs are amazing and they just improve the formula so it blends a lot better it's super easy to go package and we have three different flavors so we have berry now we have pineapple and we also have dragon fruit now another thing I really want to talk about is just the speakers and the further brainwashing that I noticed so Monet really likes to do a lot of things in regards to award ceremonies speakers and really highlighting their top performers and leaders so what they first like to do is they actually had a lot of awards for people who were maybe maybe they recruited the most people there was awards that are handed out now this actually happens all the time every year but again in my opinion this was further trying to brainwash people and this is also another thing that I personally believe is when you have everyone all together and maybe they work really hard and they're tired and they earn it and they're super excited, it further adds to the possibility of what if. Because a lot of people are sitting there watching their uplines, getting these awards, watching the people that are very few at that, getting these certificates, just all these things that they're receiving. And it gets the average person, which the majority of them will not get there, will not make that money, but it makes them sit here and think, what if? That can be me. That can be me. And it further puts is that cycle. The Erdinetta family started with a vision when they left Venezuela for a better life for their family. Wow. Stuart and Deb had the vision when they made the decision to become a part of Monate. Eight. My vision started on the side of a mountain when I and we left our little home, but we had a family of five. There wasn't quite enough room. We kept dreaming bigger and bigger, and we were able to build our dream home on the 80 acres. And I'll never forget the day that I text Ray and told him we closed on our land. And he said, wow, what started with a dream to put in a sidewalk for your little girl. Wow. What it's done for your family now. Oh my God. Can I cry? <laughs> so the question is, how many of you have that vision today? 
the vision. Yeah, that's, we should talk about that. Everybody out here has the Monty vision or you wouldn't be here. Yes. And you know, the thing is, sometimes your vision can kind of fade. Maybe, maybe you've lost a rank. Maybe you've gotten discouraged in your business. Maybe you've thought, how many of you have thought, maybe this isn't for me. It works for some people but it also further gets them stuck inside of the unethical predatory system. Now, another thing that I had a major problem with is there are some people who are inducted into this millionaire club. Now we highlighted this in the actual conference that was last year when WFAT was still in the company, but they have the million dollar club. Now the million dollar club is anyone who has made millions of commissions or more. That's not to say that they are a millionaire. That's complete bullshit. You can make 2 million in a matter of five years and you're considered a millionaire to Monet. However, they pull all these people that are millionaires on stages, they highlight them, and they pretty much just have them share a sob story about where they came from. Now again, I'm not trying to say that they didn't come from hardships, they didn't struggle in life, because that's not the case. However, these individuals were there when Monet first began, so they were able to grow and profit and make a lot of money. Worst thing about it is though, is Monet uses them as a way of marketing and proving how, again, this can be you. You guys can hit this. Look, I'm a millionaire, I have a nice home, I can stay home with my kids, and I travel everywhere. That's exactly how this goes. And it's so gross to me how people have no problem flaunting their money, their riches, and their privileges of profiting off of people when 90 over 92% of people in Monet aren't making a thing, but they're excited. It just, it blows my mind. It To me, it gives me the same visual Cadillac parties that they have where one person gets a Cadillac and everyone sits in it and hangs out and eats cake and shit. We had even further things going on. We had certain teams, and this is where I think the mean girl click bullshit kicks in heavily. We transition off to certain party nights and special things that happen, and so certain teams would get together. Now, some of the really, really big top people would rent out places, rent out locations, um, take people out to steak dinners, wearing matching outfits, buying specific dresses, trying to look and appeal to people. So one, not only is it very weird and clicky, gonna make actually cost you more money. And this is, again, connecting back to why this is not a free trip, because we have people that are renting limos, going out to very expensive restaurants, and doing things to fill up that time that they do have that's for free during this Monet trip. And it piles up. And so when we have people that aren't making anything a year in Monet, having to pay me maybe a couple hundred in taxes by the end, but then having to buy new outfits for everything, because this is a social media opportunity, and then pushing on spending more money and do things while you're in Vegas and not also not including the alleged if you bought your trip from Monet and bought your PV, essentially. This is not free at all. But again, so continuing on, there was more culty shit that was going on. And then we have people that are crying, that are screaming, that are freaking out over millionaire stories that literally are never gonna be them. And it is like, oh my God. So I wanna talk about also, how does Monet benefit from this? And let's cover it. So first of all, money from sales. The qualification period are very intense. One, people wanna keep their rank, but two, people wanna be able to say, I earned that trip. So with so many people working so hard for those qualification periods so they can hit it, we have Monet cashing in big time because if there's five months or so that someone needs to hit it, maybe that five months might have a peak in sales. So Monet might only have to spend a specific amount on certain people to go to this trip, but if everyone collectively that's running this as a business is busting their ass to earn this trip, Monet is going to cash in astronomically. Continuing on as well, they are gonna cash in from the launches because this is literally, it is a pattern that they follow. Every time that they go and have a conference, they always launch new products. So not only did they get massive amounts of sales in that matter of five months or so, but then they also got additional sales because they launched a product and hosted a flash sale. This is another way that Monet is benefiting off of this. This is free marketing for them. So as someone who's a content creator, I take advantage of any opportunity that I have in order to take really cool, fun pictures, right? It's my job, I like doing that. And with this, Monet is pretty much providing an outlet for people to take all the Instagram pictures, market off the opportunity, talk about their why, and hang out with their Mo fam. And it is the best marketing tactic, I feel like, for Monet because it literally does all, it, like you don't even have to say much sometimes for the illusion to come across to people because when you're together with your team, they're taking pictures. It's almost like giving the vibe of an influencer trip but without any of the actual benefits of an influencer trip whatsoever. So we have people marketing off Monet, the products, the trip, 
how I'm getting paid next to the pool, literally everything. And this is another reason why I opinion that this is so culty and why these are so important for Renee because these trips literally define and help change how their company does. And in my personal opinion, I've noticed and allegedly Monet is hitting hard in regards to losses of people leaving the company. So I feel like especially now, these types of moments are so important because they give the sales that Monet so desperately needs. But not least, one of the biggest things that I want to talk about that benefits Monet is the further brainwashing because if you go a decent amount without maybe feeling so hot in the company, right? You're gonna need a little bit of boost. And even Monet talks about how this makes you feel better, this makes you feel motivated. They even talk about statistics and how people that go to conferences or trips, they become more motivated. They're statistically higher to rank up. They literally talk about the benefits of this, but the downside of it is it's brainwashing. It makes you look at the billboard and not the really bad things going on behind it. It's like, again, it's a bad relationship where somebody will do nice things for you you once and then they want you to hold on to that because then you hold on to it and continuously ignore the other bad things that are going on inside of the relationship and it's so toxic because we have people again who are making absolutely nothing a year still praising Monet still praising the concept and still trying to get people to join the company so I did cover a lot of things right here but I do want to react to some things that you guys actually sent me on here so let's get to watching um there were some people who rented out a special type of venue for their team it was a top leader and so she's actually talking on her Instagram stories and let's watch I felt like the need to see as many people as I could within my team that earned this because you guys worked hard you guys worked so freaking hard to make sure you're in a spot on this I know for some of you it's the first time you actually see like a money event because some of you were here last year and we had nothing so I'm very very excited very proud of all of you and I want you girls guys to know well first of all I was gonna say for the husbands and boyfriends to stand that everyone's standing <laughs> but maybe the husbands and the boyfriends put your hands up don't be shy look he's looking at me like okay okay shout out to my boyfriend for being here <laughs> okay, okay. what I wanted to tell you girls the message that I wanted to get across so this was originally an event for what I what we call our GV girls right so everyone well, not now, but the point was to have everyone here that's not under like a market mentor in my downline. So MMPs, AMBs, market builders, I want to get to know you because you guys matter. Because you guys earned a trip that unfortunately a lot of leaders didn't. So I want to pause this right here because this is so, so damn significant. So a lot of, there is word right now that allegedly Monet recently lost 44,000 market partners. So allegedly it was either in the past year or something. I don't know, I need to look into that one more time. 44,000 though, that's a pretty decent amount. And listen to what she said. Some leaders didn't earn this trip. If they're leaders, why did they not earn the trip? That is showing me that one, this is highly unattainable for most people again. And that tells me other people that hit it, there's a good chance again, that they bought themselves into this trip. This is alleged, but come on now. And especially when she literally mentioned that little deal detail that says everything to me right there listen very closely to how she discusses Monet how she discusses certain things because you're gonna start understanding what I'm getting at when I think that people are not doing as good as they claim Monet's kind of on their shittier leg right now they may be falling apart they're losing market partners and it's rocky right now so far not all the leaders got this which is a problem but keep listening so I want you to know that number one <laughs> You're valued, you're appreciated, and you're doing big things. Like, don't take these trips for granted. I'll speak for myself and for a lot of the leaders. You know, I have a couple of my leaders here and the leaders all around. Like, these trips are a lot for us. We have back-to-back -back events. We have teams that have thousands of for it. You're giving up. I've told a couple of you, like, I haven't seen you around. I haven't seen you in the chats. I haven't seen you on Instagram. Like, what's going on? People winning. There's people ranking up. There's people getting the cars. There's people recruiting. Why are you not doing it? I think today was a good reminder of the company that we're with, the family that brought up this company. I promise you guys, they always have our best interest in mind. Everything they do is so flawless and perfect. 
it and so you hear how she is milking this so hard to even the newer girls she went out of her way to try and host an event and it looks like ran out of space to make it special for newer girls going out about how well this is the reminder of how the good the company is they care about you like i want you to be present like this is all a part of the cultiness a part of the brainwashing innovative so they're doing their part and now you have to do yours I don't ever want to hear like my upline sucks or my upline left or my team sucks or my team doesn't work because at the end of the day this is your business and I say like this is my breadwinner you know this is how I feed Mateo this is how I support my family and if my team decides to not work I'm going to keep going mm -hmm. and if my upline decides to not talk to me I'm going to keep going so right now this top leader I'm gonna be honest with you here she's making a lot of money from what i can see okay she's very very high up but she's preaching to a choir that is never gonna be on her level pretty much because she's going on about well if my downline isn't doing anything then i have to keep going or if my upline doesn't but she doesn't really have to worry about that too much because if she has a lot of people recruiting for her essentially like you know after you hit a certain point there's so many people underneath that are still recruiting and you could still benefit from that you know what i'm saying but my point is she's talking to people trying to be like well hey if your upline isn't being good that doesn't mean you give up if your downline isn't doing anything well that doesn't mean give up but when is enough enough because most people are clearly very obviously going into debt how much in product are they purchasing from the flash sales how much are they spending to go anywhere like this like to, for some of these trips this is insane but again because a top leader like her is profiting off of people that keep this mentality she's pushing this right now she's pushing the monet case for you i care for you look what i did please don't give up because you can be this it's bullshit we're not good enough or we're never going to be like x or y c or we're never going to make this much money or we started too late and honestly yesterday in the mdc um gala the stories that we were listening of people hitting the million dollar club was so eye-opening because a lot of you know the real deal leaders here and people in our downline we ran to that and it's great but it's not common and it's not easy and just because we did it if you don't do it at the same time, doesn't mean you're not good enough or you're doing it the wrong way. It just means your story is different and your journey has a different path. You know, maybe I learned how to be a leader in my wedding planning business. I didn't have no one waking me up every day. So when I came here, I didn't have to learn that. Maybe you're learning that right now. So yesterday was a good reminder because we saw girls four, five, seven years in hitting the million dollar club. Girls that are AED hitting the million dollar club. You don't have to be SED. All right, guys, so I'm actually going to close it out here, but that was it for today's video. But moral of the story, you guys, please pay attention to what happens in these conferences, how they are so brainwashed to think that this is magical when they're not making anything. I just, this is insane to me, but it's actually devastating because there's so many people that are living off of a dream that will never happen. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what you guys thought about this cult conference. Let me know if there's any other upcoming conferences or things that you guys want me to cover, and I will see you on the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you.